As a vegan, the question I get asked most is what do I actually eat? Do I eat grass and plants like some sort of rabbit? Or do I actually eat normal food? So I thought I'd do a video and show you exactly what I eat in a week as someone who is obsessed with carbs. I have Monday mornings off work, so they're usually pretty chill mornings. My favourite go-to breakfast is avocado and tomato on toast. For this, I just cut up an avocado, mash it up with a fork, then place it on some toast and add some chopped tomatoes on top. I then season it with some pepper, and that's pretty much it. It's a really quick and easy breakfast, but is so yummy. This afternoon, I was just craving something really light as I wasn't too hungry. So all I did was I got some Alpro Greek vanilla yogurt, added some chopped pears in as they're a really nice seasonal fruit in winter, and that was that. For today's dinner, I was definitely inspired by a TikTok I had seen recreating Gigi Hadid's famous vodka pasta recipe, and I knew I had to recreate it, but vegan. So I started off frying off some white onion, and then I added some tomato puree. I let that fry off for a bit and then added a shot of vodka and let that simmer off, and then added some plant-based double cream. I then again let that simmer for a while before seasoning it with some salt, some pepper, and some chili flakes. I then added a mug of pasta water before adding the rest of the drained pasta and combining it nicely. I then added a load of vegan parmesan and some vegan butter, again stirring that in, letting it melt and combine nicely. I then dished some up for dinner tonight and for dinners for the next few nights. And I also just wanted to shout out these amazing little serene bars which have just become vegan in the apple, banana and strawberry flavours. I literally love these for snacking on at work. I normally have one of those little bars at work just to get me through so I can have breakfast when I get home. Today I had porridge which I prepped the night before. I did this by measuring out the serving size for three portions and then the same thing with the milk, it just has these instructions on the back of the oats packet and then I cooked these. I also decided to add some pears and dates to this because they're seasonal at the moment, so super yummy and I also added in some of my favourite chocolate syrup. I just let it boil until it's at the right consistency and then serve it up and leave it in the fridge ready to be reheated when I get home. So this is one of my favourite hearty meals to have in the winter and I actually made it the day before. I do a lot of my food prep on a Monday as I'm normally super busy on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with work and uni whereas on a Monday I only do work. I forgot to film this but basically I normally start with an onion I'd run out on this day but then I fry up some mince, I put in some carrots, some red peppers, some chopped tomatoes in there and make a really basic bolognese sort of sauce. And then I add in some spinach just because I like to get the extra iron in there. And that's the base for the shepherd's pie. I usually add whatever I have, whether that's peas and aubergine, courgette, whatever. I'm not really fussed as long as it's got lots of veggies and it's gonna be super yummy. Then I made my mash, so I added my potatoes to the pan and just mashed them up after I drained them. I added in some double cream, again sometimes I use milk, it depends what I have. And then I added some butter and just mashed that up again. And I also added some sage, I love doing this just to give the mash a bit more flavour. Again, the same thing with some parmesan too. And then stirred it up, made sure it was all nice and combined. I then layered both elements in an oven proof dish to go into the oven at about 180 for 30 minutes until the top is kind of a golden colour. And then I just dish and serve. I normally leave this in the fridge for up to four days. It keeps really well and is really nice reheated. So all of this meal prep on Monday usually gets me through to Friday, which is another day off of work for me. So I can do more meal prep this day, ready for the weekend, which I also work. So once again, I started off my day with another avocado on toast situation. Again, it's my favorite breakfast. For lunch this day, I just wanted something quite light again, but something also hearty. So there's me just chopping up some garlic, and then I chopped up some red peppers and added them to a pan, along with a five bean salad that I'd drained. I then add some spices, so I've got some smoked paprika and some chili flakes here. I added a bit more smoked paprika because I didn't think I'd put quite enough in. And then I added a whole can of chopped tomatoes and just kind of sauteed this for a while before adding 
putting in some garlic. I then add a whole load of spinach in because clearly I'm trying to not become anemic this winter because I'm eating so much spinach this week. Anyway, I then let that wilt down and just stir that in. I then finish it off on a bed of kale with some lemon juice spritzed on just to help that kind of not be so sharp and some sliced avocado just to balance out the spice of the dish. Clearly I was in a spicy mood today because I am making another hot dish, my spicy pasta. Now I would usually start this recipe off with an onion but we had run out again, I don't know how, I think I'd just forgotten to purchase some. So I'm chopping up some garlic and then I'm chopping up some tofu, I'm adding the tofu to the pan and letting that fry for a bit before adding a chopped pepper and also letting that fry off together. I then added in the sun-dried tomatoes, the garlic I chopped earlier, and some tomato puree. I then seasoned with paprika before realizing I wanted to use smoked paprika and then chili flakes on top. I then added in a can of chopped tomatoes and let that fry off again and added some spinach on the top to wilt. Again, I am clearly spinach and spice crazy. I then started boiling my pasta and added some double cream to the sauce just to use off that little pot that I'd used earlier in the week and yeah, let it all combine into this lovely dish which I actually used for dinner over the weekend. So this is the last dish that I'm actually going to be showing you me making on this video and it is my legendary tofu scramble. I love making this when I have to eat at work like I did this weekend, when I have longer shifts because it just gets me through the shift and it's so yummy. So first I mash up some tofu till it gets to this kind of bitty weird texture and I know it looks weird but trust the process, it looks kind of like scrambled eggs in the end. I let that fry for a bit and add some garlic, again I usually use an onion but I made this the night before so I still didn't have that onion yet. I then season it with some turmeric to get the colour and then some smoked paprika and usually some chilli flakes too. I also like to add some plant milk while cooking throughout to keep the moistness in the tofu to kind of get more of that egg texture and not let it get too dry and powdery due to the spices. I then add in some chopped tomatoes, some spinach because of course spinach, um, normally some peppers as well and maybe some broccoli, literally whatever I have in the fridge that you could kind of put in an omelette I put in this and yeah over time it kind of goes to this yellowy colour, it starts to resemble scrambled eggs a bit more and I usually like to serve it with beans just for the extra protein and they go really nicely together. Then if I wake up from my post work nap in time I usually just have some soup that my mum's made for lunch at the weekends and like I say I finish it off with that pasta I had on Friday night. So yeah, that was my eating in a week. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's kind of a different style of videos, but I am crumbling under the pressure of uni assignments at the moment. And yeah, it's just a lot, but I hope nonetheless you enjoyed and you've gotten something out of this video, whether it's some new recipe ideas or just the education that no vegans don't eat just grass like rabbits. I do mostly cook in bulk just because I am quite a busy person. I have two days off, so I like to do most of my meal prep then just to ensure that I'm eating healthier and not just grabbing snacks all the time. This works best for me and I'm pretty sure you could do this a lot cheaper than I do as well. So yeah, feel free to try these out and recreate them. I definitely recommend these recipes but i hope you have a lovely week and i'll catch you in the next one bye